Hello everyone, my name is the Radman and we are here to play some more Farming Simulator 2015. In this episode I'm going to be trying to show you how um, to create a shovel course um, that will automatically, ooh stop you, that will automatically stop the driver, that will automatically unload into this trailer. So, oh, I forgot I changed the key binding on that. So, uh, to start, you're going to need to do your positions, and basically what this is, oh, nuts, is you just uh, have your shovel set somewhere, then you click one of these, and that sets that to this position. The loading position is what it does when it's going in transporting is uh, wh what it does while it's going backing out of the bunker preloading pre unloading is what it does before it unloads like th for instance this is my pre unloading position and then unloading is usually just pre unloading except with the bucket tipped but yeah I'm gonna use my same uh, positions or we might change them at the end but anyway I'll show you how to record an actual course for this so the first thing that you're going to do is get your start point and I'm gonna just move this bucket all the way out of the way there we go and uh, yeah now what you do is you click start recording and you drive up to the very edge of where anything would be in your bunker and this works with silage bunkers too and then you set a wait point and you drive to the end of your bunker set another wait point go into reverse mode and drive as straight as you can backwards and then you want to flip around like this and then I would recommend going back just a little bit like this and then you go out of reverse mode and then when you're somewhat when you're near enough to unload you hit your stop and then you go backward again and then you stop and then that should work so let's just see and note it will always start at the first uh, waypoint you can't change it then what it'll do is you see it'll get loaded and uh, it now it'll drive backwards and if we set this up right it should actually work except now it's saying it's in traffic so that means that we have set our uh, our trailer too close so basically now we just need to flip around the trailer and keep edging the trailer back until it has enough space because they have a certain amount of space that has to be in front of them for them to actually move on in the course and that's why I usually if I have an unloading trailer I usually unload it somewhere away but yeah see now he's gonna wait there so that's why I usually would drive him like over there uh, but yeah this is just a really quick little course that we set up so I didn't expect it to work a hundred percent I didn't expect him to at least unload it though Hmm. these are quite finicky I don't really like them I'd much rather just use a manure elevator myself like have a little elevator so we'll unload that and see there he goes now he kicks into gear when he gets to the stopping point he will now automatically go here and there we go so yeah that's the basic way to set it up uh, you'll just have to tinker with it I haven't found a 100 percent foolproof method because sometimes he doesn't remember to unload the bucket Sometimes you get stuck even though you need to have a trailer that close Sometimes really weird things happen like him just sitting here and not going into unloading position even though there is a trailer within reach and Yeah, just other weird things, but yeah experiment with it for yourself. Um That's all I can really tell you uh, Just because it's a very weird mode and I don't even fully understand it a hundred percent but yeah um, and one thing to note is as far as I know there isn't a way of making the manure transporter like automatically you know stop here and then leave once it's full 
I don't know if that's just because I don't set up my courses right for it or what, but I've not been able to make that work yet. So I usually just come and control it and then I let it fill itself, I dump it out and then I go spread it and then I come back and rinse and repeat. And yeah, I just get a lot of manure from feeding my cows, but ideally once it's empty I'll let it get like 80 or 90 percent before I touch it again. Um, just because liquid manure is so much easier to use and I get a lot more of it. But anyway guys. I hope you enjoyed this to this little mini series of mine. I'm gonna call that an end to this mini series officially until Farming Simulator 2017 comes out, and that's just because um, I don't know what features will be kept slash removed uh, of course play for 2015 into 2017. Uh, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is once 2017 does come out. I'll probably make a, either an updated tutorials or just a highlights to show like the main changes and let's just see maybe we've got it to the sweet spot where it'll auto unload now because I just bumped it over a few notches no really I have a f nice juicy inventory really wow that that is weird but yeah, like I said, sometimes sometimes weird things happen. And yeah, there might... I don't know what's wrong. I wonder if it's not actually... Let's see, 22%. Is it actually... Holy cow, either this holds a lot or it's not properly unloading, which would be part of the problem. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, just twink, twinker, tinker with that if you have too many issues. I just honestly say download, um, download, uh, what conveyor? Download, not that one. Download this conveyor, this conveyor, I mean, because even though it does say bale conveyor, it holds everything except bales. So yeah, or just get a frogger, or a frage, just because, um, it is really useful, and it'll automatically figure out what trailer it needs to go into. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this mini-series. I hope that you have enjoyed. My name is the Radman. Goodbye.